ladies and gentlemen, Rob here with Deluxe Gaming, and welcome back to Mad Games Tycoon. We're now in episode 18, and we've just released our very first MMO. It's about to hit the streets. We're currently making copies. Oh, big bucks, big bucks, big bucks. Now, it was only 81%, but even 81%, it doesn't... I mean, that matters. What we need, as long as we get people actually hooked on the subscription service, which I believe is going to be $5 a week, which is like 20 bucks a month, that's outrageously expensive for an MMO. So we've got 500,000 500, copies ready to go. It's marketed, it's, it's 99 hype, so people are really excited about it. Oh, Mad Game Awards. Best soundtrack. Ah, Uga Wufag. Got it. Best graphics? Nope. Uh, Shameless Tick Games! We've got it again! We've got 252,000 fans! And uh, we've got the smallest customer de service department in all of history. So we're gonna start a brand new fan ca campaign, because I forgot to do that last time. We're gonna do, we're gonna spend all, we're gonna throw as much money as we possibly can in it. We're gonna do the game fair for 250,000 bucks. But, I don't know, like, I don't know if... So, so, some people are saying, just hear me out here, some people are saying that, um, you don't get the benefits of things like the game fair until they're actually done working on it which kind of makes sense but it does seem like sometimes they, that the fans are happy as long as these guys are working but i i don't know i don't know i think it i think that's true that we actually don't reap the benefits of the game fair until they're actually done with the project so that leads me to the next thing we should probably train these guys up it's office work yeah they're using the office work skill we need to get them beefed up in office work so what I was gonna, what I propose here actually is I'm going to change around this room. We're gonna cancel this course. We're gonna turn this course into, or this training room into a office work training program. It's the first time we've done an office work training program. Hold on, I just wanna see something. Oh, we lost that one course. Okay, I've, I forgot to put it on automatically repeat training. We're gonna put these two guys in there. Yes, we're gonna put our game fair on hold. We, right or wrong, we're gonna put our game fair on hold. I suppose we could put a couple other guys in there just working on it but I, I don't know i don't i don't want to use those guys as a matter of fact another thing that that uh you guys let me know apparently the one skill that deluxe does not have which is office work is a skill he needs to be working in the head office so we're i'm, I'm not i'm why we're not going to waste deluxe in here like we, we could train deluxe up in the office work area and then put him back in in the uh, head office but no 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 he's better off being a programmer or a designer a game designer he's got all those skills we might as well do that let's hire somebody new that's what we're gonna do we're gonna hire somebody new somebody good in office work ah perfect dorothy lork lork lorch <laughs> great name <laughs> that's a, a, again a phase only a mother could love and uh scrolling she's good at scrolling and she's good at rpg games but we're gonna rename her hold on where is she hold on uh dorothy lorch we're gonna put her um we're gonna put her in the training room we're gonna train her up in office work so that she gets really good at office work and then she can be our office administrator she's the person that's going to be managing the head office room so let's go to our staff let's find her here and rename her i've got a name for her <laughs> um oh what is the name now I've, I've lost hold on i lost my sheet hold on just give me a sec here ah here we go ghost finley ghost finley is that with an e Yes, with an EY. Ghost Finley, you are good at scrolling and RPG games, and you're gonna be the office administrator. So yeah, you're in charge of the, or the office manager rather. You're in charge of the whole office. Okay, there we go, good, excellent. Welcome to the team. And, but for now, you guys are gonna train. I wanna keep you guys in the training room with the uh, customer service people, get you guys really good at office work. As a matter of fact, what we could do, I'm just pausing it here for a second because we could throw one of our marketing guys in there too as well because marketing is also related or also requires office work so there we go that's going let's speed it up just a little bit oh first first couple weeks of sales of Ugo Wolf Ag we've sold we're selling like over a hundred thousand wow we're gonna need more copies like right away produce game <laughs> wow we're actually selling way more than I thought should we do a million copies We'll do 500,000 copies for now. I Because it is only an 81%, so I don't know how many... But hey, we've got no subscriptions yet. So we've sold 380,000 copies, but nobody's subscribed to the service? What? What do you mean nobody's subscribed? Okay, we also need to do a game report on that too as well. Uga Wolf Axe, so that we get better at fighting games. Because apparently what, what we chose there for the uh, topics was wrong. Oh, there we go. We've got 223,000 subscriptions at $5 a week. <laughs> oh, that is good. Oh, that's good. Get them hooked on. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's great. Um, did, who's that? Is that Deluxe? What is he doing? Why does he? Why do they do that? When you put them in the office, they wander around. They do 
Why has he got a star above his head? What does that mean? What does that mean that he's got a star above his head? Does that mean like he's super special? Like he's really good? Just overall? I don't know what that means. Why does he have a star on his head? Maybe it's because that was this, our starting guy. Maybe maybe that's why he's got the star. I know there's been another patch too as well, so who knows? Um, we're gonna do a patch for Ugo Wolf Ag right away. Let's do another update or an update, our first update for it, um, for everything. And we're gonna probably take Candy Mush Bubbles off the market now because it looks like it's not doing so hot. So take game from market Candy Mush Bubbles. Yeah, I mean we we still made 4.24 million dollars on that. I mean, that's great. That was uh, not a bad second release for it. We're going to cancel the coordination here too as well until our guys in office work are done and ready to go. And what? Oh, we've got 10 contracts sitting in wait. 10 contracts. And some of these, look at this, 433,000 all the way down to 141,000. There's probably a couple million bucks here at least. So yeah, we'll get them working on all of those. Those should go fairly quickly. How are we doing here? So we've got, wow, we're burning through those copies. Okay, let's do another 500,000 copies. Produce game, another 500,000. And how many subs do we have now? Uh, 200, it's only 223,000. So we're, I mean, it's, we've sold 796,000 copies, but we only have 223,000 subs. I wonder if that's accurate. Like, or maybe it just takes a while for them to get hooked on or something. I don't know, let's, let's do another update. I mean, it is only an 81% game. Like, the game wasn't super fantastic, but still. Oh, there we go. 424,000 people hooked. <laughs> We're probably going to have to increase the, the amount of servers that we have kicking around here, too, as well. Uh, we might as well be... You know what? Let's research the rest of the genres. Let's get all of the genres done. And you, maybe we'll even research all of the topics. You know, I mean, why not? Just, you know, get them, get them all banked. That way we can pick whatever we want whenever we're doing a... Whenever we're building a game. So this is good. We're still not making money on this. I don't know why. Is it because... I wonder if the servers... The servers pro probably cost us a bunch of money to run to as well. So I don't know what, what, what our costs here on this are. Is it just the games that we produce? I don't know. I know we're selling the game for less. So we're selling the game for less than we sell most games because my goal is to get people hooked on to the subscription service. And it's sort of the it's sort of a stepping stone towards free to play, right? Because eventually, you know, free to play is that's exactly what we're doing. So we're we're making the buy-in very very cheap so that we can get people sucked in, and then they spend the money on this on the on the weekly subscription service. That's where the money. That's where we're making the money. It's like five bucks a week for like ever, <laughs> which I absolutely love. Um, another thing we can do with our second team. How are these guys for skill? Oh wow, they're uh. They're low on graphics. Okay, so we've got graphics. Let's put them into the graphics course here. And Deluxe, wasn't he short on... Deluxe also is short on graphics. Let's get all these guys. This will be it for Deluxe. He'll have 100 in game design, 100 in programming. He'll have 100 in graphics, 100 in music and sound, 100 in speed, 100 in work will. Wow, that's maybe why he has a star above his head. <laughs> I think it's probably because he's the... He's the uh, he's sort of the guy that started all this. It's his business, right? It's my business. It's our business. It's 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 you you guys and me. It's our business. That's right. But yeah, I mean, Deluxe. That's why he's got the start his head because he sort of started the whole thing. Um, Five hundred eleven thousand subscriptions. Woo <laughs> we're gonna start making money. So even after we stop selling this game, we're gonna continue to make money. But um, we're about half capacity on that one server. I'm tempted. You know what? Let's buy another server. Just in case, like if we get another burst of people, there's a lot of people sitting in wait that haven't actually bought or started with the subscription service. So I want to make sure that there's a capacity to do that because we've sold 1.13 million copies, but we only have 511,000 people actually on the service. So I don't know, maybe maybe that's going to change. I want to take a look at that game report really briefly. Completed game reports. The new one, Uga Wufag. Yeah, the, both the topics, Dog and Stone Age, are not good for fighting. Nope. <laughs> No, 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 no. So, yeah, we're going to have to think of a different type of game type. As a matter of fact, we're moving on to now building game again. Because we last one, puzzle before that, and then a fighting game. We're going to do a building game, and I have an idea. I think we'll do, like, a prison architect type game. Yeah, like prison architect. I mean, that was, what a great game that was. Um, Should we do that, like, MMO style? What kind of MMOs are there, like, building games? I mean, there's, like... I don't know. I don't know of anything current, but there used to be a Sims, an MMO Sims game. There used to be an online multi uh, Sims Online. It used to be called Sims Online. So we could do the Stumps Online. Uh, Uga Wufag. Oh, no, 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 no. Hold on. Uh, we are losing ground with Uga Wufag. We need to build a patch for it quickly. Otherwise, it's, it's going to bottom out here. Hold on. Uh, 
Uh, updates. Come on, build me an update quickly. Ooga Woo Fag, let's do everything. Wow, it kind of bottomed out, like, out of nowhere there. It's like, it had lots of interest, and then no interest. Oh! Ah, oh, you know what it is. We don't, didn't produce enough of the game. Oh, I hate it when I do that. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so we're 120,000 copies short. Ah, oh, I haven't done that for a while. Well, probably not since last game. <laughs> I do that all the time. It would be really nice if you sort of had an indication of how many copies you're going to sell. But I guess real publishing companies don't know. Real publishing companies don't know how many copies you're going to sell. So uh, we're still selling 70-some thousand. You know what? We're going to produce another 500k. I think that's pretty safe. You know, and the other thing is... Okay, so one thing that we can do here now... Actually, is, de is, is Deluxe... Whoops. Is Deluxe up to max skill now? Deluxe is actually max skill, except for office work, he's max skill. How's our other guys doing in the, uh, let's just go speed one here while we're looking. So, office work, 79, office work, 78, office work, 78, and office work, 76. Okay, so they're not quite ready. We're, our fans are PO'd. We, we're like Steam right now. We have absolutely no customer service department. <laughs> so, we're, we're going to start building a DLC. Um, I don't know how to do it, though. Uh updates mmo add-on that's what we want an mmo add-on for the mmo that we have so for ooga woof ag this is going to be we're gonna call this uh, <laughs> ooga woof ag and it the dlc is gonna be called <laughs> barks a lot <laughs> like Camelot, barks a lot. There we go, barks a lot! Uh, exclamation point. And this is, of course, going to be for the same, all the same consoles. Oh, I see. We can increase the level cap. We can add new items. We can add new quests. Add new enemies. Add new areas and add new player classes. We can add a whole bunch of. Wow. Okay. So we could do a really cheap MMO, uh, like a, a really cheap add-on, or we could just go crazy. Which we're gonna go crazy. That's gonna be like two, two point one million dollars. That's expensive. We'll only do one of these because this was only a 71% or an 81% game. I don't want to go too crazy with it. I mean, this is already going pretty crazy, but we're going to do it for all languages. Uh, what was the... I don't remember what our priority should be. Uh, we should look that up, maybe. Uh, let's look that up. Fighting. Hold on. Let's look it up. We can look it up really quickly here. So if we go to, cre go to completed game reports, we can go to fighting. The priorities are... 30, 20, 30, 20. 30, 20, 30, 20. Okay, pretty straightforward. And then we can go uh, updates, MMO add-on. Yes, and this is going to be... Let's do this again. Uh, <laughs> uh, egg. Uh, and this is bark... Whoops, not aff. Egg. Barks a lot. Keyboards behind, or behind my microphone. <laughs> there we go. Uh, okay, and this is going to be uh, all of the features. We're going to add to it. And then it's 30, 20, 30, 20. Oh, i got to lower this one first. 30, and then lower this one. And then 30. Whoops. Ah, oh, man. And then 30. 30, 20, 30, 20. And then all languages. Like so. Okay, so now we're working. Oh, you know what? Let's move the development of that to the other office. Move task to the, the main office, I think. And we'll have these guys. Uh, what are they going to do? I think we'll do one more update for Ooga Woof Ag. So we're building an MMO add-on for it. Like, I assume that's something else that we have to produce. Like, we have to actually build the actual games to send out again. How about... Oh, we're at 551... Oh, I can't believe we missed that again. But it doesn't look like it has changed the rate at which we're selling the game. So that's good. I, I don't know if that really makes a difference. Maybe if maybe if you run out of stock and stay out of stock for a long time, it makes a difference. But I don't think it makes a difference if it's just for a short time. Okay, so we're starting off with 35 hype. Let's market the crap out of that. <laughs> Great marketing campaign. Games. Uh, for the Ooga Woof Egg Barks A Lot game is in development. We're going to auto-repeat, stop and hark it, hop, har, eh, when hype is maximum. We're going to do TV campaign. Where is our... I know we have one other marketer. Where did he go? Is that him here? Yeah, that's him here. Okay, okay, good. And then our other marketer, I don't know who's who. I think we'll just... Whoever's... St I think whoever is done first here, we're going to throw them into customer service because we got to get our customer service working again. Um, we're, we've got 260,000 very unhappy fans. Um, your fans are unhappy. You see, you need more staff for your support team. Yes, I know, I know, I know. But this, it's just, it's going to take a minute. Uh, oh, we've got to work on bugs here too as well. Remove, I, I wonder if we, do we have to improve gameplay and stuff for this? No. Okay, so because it's just an add-on, we don't have to do like the... 
Oh, yeah, no, we don't have to do any of the uh, graphics and stuff, I don't think. Uh, what? Hold on. Um, actually, something that you guys mentioned is that I missed, I missed the filming tier three for the last, for Ooga Woof Egg, so we can add it with the add-on. Ah, oh, that's kind of cool, so we're gonna do that. We're also gonna remove bugs. Wonderful. Okay, so we're on the right track, and it looks like this one builds pretty quickly. Um, we're gonna have to also produce the game too as well. Wow, we're at 913,000 people playing our game, so $5 a week, so that's what, 5 million a week? Is that right? So five, five times, five times a million, five times a million is five million. So is that five million a week or is that five dollars a month? I don't know. I, I'm not even sure. Let's do a middle booth. We can feature both Ooga Woof Egg and the add-on. Yeah. So now it's like World of Warcraft kind of thing. Like we're, we're going crazy with this and the deluxe box. We need to make enough money to produce our next console. I want to do that handheld console. Hopefully we can get that started today. So we've got another 22,000 fans, another 22,000 unhappy fans. Um, let's do research features. Ah, force feedback. All wicked for controllers. Force feedback. So vibrating controllers and stuff. That's kind of cool. I like that. Um, so uh, let's get these guys working on the contracts. We've got a list of four. First one is 503,000. We're, we're making just as much on contracts as we do anything else. Only 120,000 copies left. Let's produce another... Let's produce another 500,000 because, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, now when we're done Ooga Woof Egg Barks A Lot, the add-on for Ooga Woof Egg, will that not mean that we're gonna sell more of the original game too as well? So we might have to have keep a stock on that. You know, that being said, we're gonna sell the remainders of anything that we have kicking around here. Uh, Smash the Rocks Bro, you know what? There's enough, I'm gonna sell off the rest of Candy Mush Bubbles, but Smash the Rocks Bro, I think we'll remarket that. Let's remarket that without all the bells and whistles. Like, we'll do a budget game. Smash the Rocks Bro. Where are you? Smash the Rocks Bro. And we're going to do that in one week. And we're going to just, without any... Actually, we'll do it with a color manual. And we're going to reduce the price. So we're selling it. We're making, like, $9 a copy. I don't I don't want to sell too many. Otherwise, i got to produce more, right? I guess it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. I mean, that's not a bad thing. If we if we sell too many and we start making more money on it, that's good, right? So we'll 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 do it for fourteen dollars a copy. That's a nice discount, I think. Maybe I don't know. Let's let's do it thirteen dollars a copy. I think that's probably good. That means we make nine dollars profit, and they get a manual too as well. So one week's remaining before that, but we've got two hundred fifty-six thousand copies of that to sell. So that should. I hope that we sell through most of that. I hope we don't sell too much more. But if I guess if we do, that just means we make more money, right? So I guess that's good. Wow, we're up to 1.11 million people playing this game online. That's, we're starting to get into some decent money, I think. I, I, I really need to, so every week we should be making 5 million bucks just on our subscriptions. Yeah, look at that. We just made 5 million bucks. We're making 5 million a week just on MMO, on, on people playing our MMO. That's madness, man. That is total madness. We're actually gonna have to make more copies of that too. Wow, crazy. You know what? Maybe what we'll do is we'll get a million in the bank, a million copies of, of Ooga Wolf Egg. That way, oh, we're gonna burn through those copies of Smash the Rock, bro. Like they're they're done. They're done. It's, it's, it's finished. Oh, wow. We're selling way more than I expected. You know what? Do we just let it go or do we build some more? We might build some more copies just to sell, but then we're stuck with more copies if they don't sell. Ugh. It's, it's such a toss-up. Okay, we're going to stop production on Ooga Woof Egg, and we're going to produce a few more copies of Smash the Rock Bro just to make our fans happy. Uh, let's do another 250000 Sure. I think we'll sell through. I'm pretty sure we'll sell through. <laughs> I hope, anyway. <laughs> Ooga Woof Egg barks a lot. Let's not release it quite yet. Uh, is there anything else we need to do for it? I think that's it. Uh, other than we're gonna have to produce copies of that game. Hold on, slow everything down. Everything's going way too fast here. Okay, so we're done with bugs. We're done everything. Release the game. Yes, we'll publish it. We're gonna self-produce. So, so we don't get as high of scores on it, but it's just, it's just an add-on, right? So I don't know if this is good or not. I have no idea. So let's self-produce. Uh, we'll release it in one week. And we're gonna include a couple bells and whistles. This is like a special add-on, right? So we'll sell it for $18. 20 bucks. 20 bucks. 20 bucks a copy. And they get a few... Nah, they don't need a deck. But they can have a balloon, a sticker, a poster, and a manual. Sure. That seems like a pretty good deal, I think. I don't know. 
release. Uh, we get experience in Stone Age and RPG. <laughs> Although Stone Age doesn't mix with this genre, but RPG does, I think. Uh, fighting Stone Age. Okay, but this is the add-on for it. So let's see. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. At least 81. That's what we had for the original. 82 would be great. So we've actually improved upon what we already built. So graphics are great. The best I've seen in some time. Sound is well done. All round solid with not much to complain about. The controls define perfection. Best controls seen in a game. The gameplay is well done. There isn't much to complain about. This add-on turned out really well. Highly recommended. Graphics and sound perfect. The graphics look terrible. <laughs> but even in... 2001, we were doing better than that, man. But we did get the fun award, which is really great, and 83%. So let's produce... I don't know. How many copies of that do we produce? Because it this will only appeal to people that already own the game, the original. So I, uh, let's start with 500,000. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. I'm just flying by the seat of my pants here. I have no idea if we're doing the right things or not. Let's do... Can we do a game report on that? Sure, we can. Sure. Right on. I think what we're gonna do, let's go do some research. We're gonna do some research on a couple topics. I wanna do a prison type game. I don't know what kind of prison type game, but I wanna do a prison type game. So we're gonna do prison, a building game. This is gonna be a building game based on prison. So like prison architect, but not prison architect. Cause we can't do the same thing that's already been done. At least I don't like doing stuff like that. Oh, did we market? Oh man, we got a lot of stuff going on here. Smash of rocks, bro. We're selling through nicely. We still got a million copies of Ooga Woof Ag. You know what? We need to do an update on Ooga Woof Ag. We need to do... Whoops, not contract. No, 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 no. We need to do a couple updates. No, not develop game. Jeez. Okay, hold on. Uh, we need updates. We need to do a couple updates on Ooga Woof Ag, I think, because I don't know. I don't know. And when Ooga Woof... Ugu Woof Egg Barks A Lot gets out, that should increase the amount of copies that we sell of Ugu Woof Egg. We've got a, a million copies just sitting there ready to go. I'm hoping that that works out well. So let's go research topics. Prison and quiz show? No. Rabbits? No. Prisons, prison spaceships? Prison spaceships? Prison, prison space stations? Oh, a prison in space. Oh, that's brilliant. I love it! Oh, I love it! A space prison! So come on, Ooga Woof Egg Barks a lot. Now we've got 1.2, we might even have to... So first week we sold 73,000 copies. Is that going to increase the amount that we're selling Ooga Woof Egg, the original? Like, I'm, it has to because... Although, it could be just the people that already own Ooga Woof Egg that are already subscribed that are buying Ooga Woof Egg Barks a lot. <laughs> this is confusing! This is so confusing! Um, okay, so let's start developing a new game. I no, uh, we will develop the engine for building first. Let's get that. Whoops, nope, nope, not skills. We want develop new engine. No, 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 no. Sorry, improve old engine. Builds. Let's improve our build engine. Let's get it all updated with all of the features. And away we go. There's that. And then, oh, console research. Uh, yeah, you guys can work on the two five hundred and fifty six megabyte chips. So I'm just trying to understand what is going to happen to the original Ooga Woof Egg here. And will that mean more? It's going to mean more subscriptions. It's going to be more everything. Let's get another server. I think these servers cost us money. But, I mean, uh, we're if we've got the people playing, like, we might even have to reorganize this room so we so we can fit more in here, actually. Now, come to think of it. So, no, we're up to, still at 1.26 million, but yeah, we're starting to increase the amount of Ooga Woof, 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 eh, Ooga Woof Egg we're selling. You know what we're going to do is we're going to create another marketing campaign for Ooga Woof Egg and bring it back up to 100. And how's our, oh, our group that's training. Oh, good. They're all, uh, Ghost Finley, you're going to be our new office manager. And then GF, GWF Fozer, you're going to go back into marketing. And then we've got uh, the Zom, what, oh, not the bathroom. You're going to work on the bathroom. <laughs> Do a good job. Don't make a mess. And then King Duncan, you're going to go back into customer service. Ah, we finally got people back working in our primary departments here now. So that's kind of good. Actually, we're going to put no name into training too as well. I wonder, can we actually get, ah, it doesn't really matter. No name, that's fine. We don't need extra, the, the, the high skill in marketing is good, but it's not totally necessary. So... We're going to need more copies of Ooga Woof Egg. We've got so much going on here, guys. It's ridiculous. Uh, Barks a lot. We're going to need another, I don't know, let's do another 500,000, I guess. We're almost out of Smash Rocks, bro, which is fine. We're just going to let that sell out. <laughs> we'll, we'll sell whatever's left. Actually, it might actually work out perfectly. We're down to 125,000 copies. We're selling 9,000. We're almost 10,000 a week. So that might work out pretty well, I think. 
We're done. We're ready to produce a new game. Before we produce a new game, let's do one quick update for the new add-on for Barks a Lot. Let's enable all. 231,000 for that. We'll do, actually, we'll do, uh, uh, yeah, we'll just do the one. I guess we could have done it with the other group, but that's okay. It's not a big deal. And then we're going to produce a brand new game, A Prison in Space. Uh, we're going to, we're going to call it, oh, uh, let's see. Okay, develop a game. It, this is going to be a prison, a prison space station game <laughs> and the main genre and i think both of those will work well with building games too as well i think main genre is going to be building where's building building sub genre strategy i think might work really well and then the engine is going to be use the builds plus 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 this is going to be a double a size game uh double a we could do triple a but i think we'll go double a Otherwise, it's going to be way too expensive. And then target audience is going to be adult. And then this is going to be, this is going to be a standard retail game. This is not going to be an MMO. We're going to call it Star Slammer. <laughs> Star Slammer. Yes, I love it. It's a space prison. Oh, what? It's actually, this is a good idea for a game. Somebody needs to make Star Slammer. I think that's a really good idea. Uh, prison Architect 2, Star Slammer. Oh, that'd be great. So this is going to be personal computer. Of course, Pony Game Station. Is there any more dev kits that we can buy? Uh, oh, the Nintendo N63. How does that compare to what we have? So the it's better than the Apple Muck. So let's do that. Let's buy that dev kit. Perfect. And uh, the Apple Muck is so 8.9 for the Game Joy Color, and the Apple Muck is not as good. So let's buy that one too as well. It's only a percentage difference, but sometimes. Oh no no that, that we this is for double A. No, no, yeah, that was it. That was it. That's the best, right? The the little Game Boy thing isn't for double A. Okay, so Nintendo, and we're going to do it for the deluxe box again. You know what? We're not going to do it for the deluxe box. I'm making, I'm making an executive decision just in terms of making money. This one has to make us a lot of money, and we're not going to make a lot of money uh, because I think the deluxe box is pretty much dead. It's a dead console, so yeah... I know, it seems silly not to develop it for my own console, but our own console is not that popular anymore. So we're going to go to completed game reports. We're going to import from the... St what was our best one? Game Dev Tycoon was our best one, but I think... Hold on. Yeah, this is... Everything's dead on here. It was it was the it was the parallel wor worlds we got wrong last time. So let's copy those settings in. And any better protection? No. Okay, good. So good. We're going to use the HHV protection, and then we're going to do for all languages. And... We have to decide which features we don't want. Ugh. Uh, we have to remove four features. Let's get rid of the joystick for a building game. Yeah, sure. Split screen multiplayer. Sure, we'll get rid of that. Let's 16-bit uh, color support. No, no, that's right. Yeah, oh, somebody was uh, what had the question, um, how is 256 color support worse than 16-bit? 16 16-bit 16 is actually 60 million colors. Just so you know, 16-bit means 16 million. So yeah, that's 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 actually a substantial difference. Or it's 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 I don't know if it's 16. I think it's 16 million actually. I think that works out to 16 million. I'm not sure. 16-bit is definitely better than 256 color. Okay, so uh, I could be wrong on the details on that, and don't yell at me if I am. <laughs> Parallax scrolling, mouse driver. Let's get rid of. No, we want land, uh, level editor. Yeah, we want that with texture. Uh, is there anything up here? No, no. So it has to be something here. Let's get rid of sprites, I guess. Yeah, we have to get rid of one more feature. I can't wait until we can do AAA games. AAA games, we won't have this limitation. We've got to have a mouse driver. Got to have save game support? How could we not have save game support? Ah, uh, I don't know. Parallax scrolling? I guess. Scrolling seems like an important thing. Ah, uh, sorry guys, I'm, I'm stuck. We can't remove save game. We have to have save game. Or we could go back... Go back and make this a triple A. But if we make it a triple A, do we have any consoles that we could develop it for? Like, hold on, let's see here. So personal computer, yes. Buy, hold on, let's see. Let's see if there's any more buy dev kits. Is there any triple A consoles? There's nothing here that's triple A except for the Pony Game Station 2. I mean, there's that. So let's see. What I mean, Pony Game Station and the Apple Muck is what what is the percentage of the Apple Muck? The Apple Muck is 7.4%. So, I mean, we're appealing to about 60% of the market that has AAA. So, I guess that's not terrible. And that way, we can use all of our features, too, as well. We can use everything. Enable everything. There we go. 
because we can have a maximum of 35 with AAA. So this is our first AAA game. So this is going to cost us, oh, only 8.91 million? Really? Really? That's it? I would have figured that, well, we've got all the other stuff that we've got to, to do the work on too as well. But this is going to be our first triple a game this is probably i think with all the other stuff it's probably gonna work out to maybe maybe 10 or 20 million of uh, 25 probably 25 million is probably what it's gonna cost and with marketing maybe another uh, another 25 million on top of that maybe i don't know um let's do all of our improved gameplay and we are totally out of time we're probably running over quite a bit here but i just wanted to get a bunch of this stuff out of the way uh smash rocks bro everything's looking good we've got 1.53 million players on our servers every week we're making like 7.5 million dollars per week just off of that alone and who how long can we carry that on i have no idea guys i hope you're enjoying the series i'm loving this game still take care see you later bye